Trillion is a proprietary multiprotocol instant messaging application for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, Android, iOS, BlackBerry OS, and the web, created by Cerulean Studios. It can connect to multiple IM services, such as AIM, Bonjour, Facebook, Messenger, Google Talk, Hangouts, ICQ, IRC, Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol, Jabber, VZ, and Yahoo Messenger networks, as well as social networking sites, such as Facebook, Foursquare, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and email services, such as POP3 and IMAP. Trillion no longer supports Windows Live Messenger or Skype as these services have combined and Microsoft chose to discontinue SkypeKit. They also no longer support connecting to MySpace, and no longer support a distinct connection for Gmail, Hotmail or Yahoo Mail although these can still be connected to via POP3 or IMAP. Initially released July 1, 2000, as a freeware IRC client, the first commercial version Trillion Pro 1 was published on September 10, 2002. The program was named after Trillion, a fictional character in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. A previous version of the official website even had a tribute to Douglas Adams on its front page. On August 14, 2009, Trillion Astra 4.0 for Windows was released, along with its own Astra network. Trillion Astra has a free version and a premium version with extra features. On November 18, 2009, the first mobile version of Trillion was launched for iPhone. As of 2010, final builds for Android, BlackBerry, and Apple iOS were available for their markets market, App World and App Store respectively. Trillion initially cost $4.99 USD but became free of charge, supported by ads. In 2011, Trillion 5 for Windows was released in May 2011. Trillion 6.0 for Windows was released on February 21, and for Linux on May 5, 2017. Topic Features Topic Connection to multiple IM services Trillion connects to multiple instant messaging services without the need of running multiple clients. Users can create multiple connections to the same service, and can also group connections under separate identities to prevent confusion. All contacts are gathered under the same contact list. Contacts are not bound to their own IM service groups, and can be dragged and dropped freely. Trillion represents each service with a different colored sphere. Prior versions used the corporate logos for each service, but these were removed to avoid copyright issues, although some skins still use the original icons. The Trillion designers chose a color coding scheme based on the underground maps used by the London Underground that uses different colors to differentiate between different lines. Topic: <laughs> IM services. Green and blue for Trillion Astra network. Blue for Windows Live Messenger. Red for Yahoo Messenger. Green for ICQ. Amber for AIM, discontinued December 2017. Gray for IRC. Teal and amber for Google Talk. Teal for Skype, currently unsupported by Trillion Mobile. Amber and dark gray for Bonjour, Rendezvous. Blue and teal for Facebook. Gray and purple for MySpace. Purple for Jabber, XMPP, partially broken as of October 27, 2017. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mail services. A white envelope for Pop emails. A Manila envelope for IMAP emails. A teal envelope for Twitter. Prior versions of Trillion supported. Microsoft Exchange. Lotus Same Time. Noval Groupwise Messenger Topic Meta Contact To eliminate duplicates and simplify the structure of the contact list, users can bundle multiple contact entries for the same person into one entry in the contact list using the Meta Contact feature, similarly to Adam's fallback messaging feature. 
subcontacts will appear under the metacontact as small icons aligned in a manner of a tree. Activity history Trillion Pro comes with activity history, and both log the history as both plain text files and as XML files. Pro has a history manager that shows the chat history and allows the user to add bookmarks for revision later on. XML-based history makes the log easy to manipulate, searchable and extendable for future functions. Topic. Stream manipulation Trillion Pro also has a stream manipulation feature labeled Time Travel, which allows the user to record, and subsequently review, pause, rewind, and fast-forward live video and audio sessions. Securime Securime is an encryption system built into the Trillion Instant Messenger client. It encrypts messages from user to user, so no passively observing node between the two is supposedly able to read the encrypted messages. Securime does not authenticate its messages, and therefore it is susceptible to active attacks including simple forms of man-in-the-middle attacks. According to Cerulean Studios, the makers of Trillion, Securime enciphers messages with 128-bit Blowfish encryption. It only works with the OSCAR protocol and if both chat partners use Trillion. However, the key used for encryption is established using a Diffie-Hellman key exchange which only uses a 128-bit prime number as modulus, which is extremely insecure and can be broken within minutes on a standard PC. Topic. Instant lookup Starting with version 3.0 in both the Basic and Pro suites, Trillion makes use of the English language version of the Wikipedia Free Online Encyclopedia for real-time referencing using its database of free knowledge. The feature is employed directly within a conversation window of a user. When one or more words are entered by either user, Trillion checks all words against a database file and if a match is found, the word appears with a dotted green underline. When users point their mouse over the word, the lead paragraph of the corresponding article is downloaded from Wikipedia and displayed on screen as a tooltip. When users click on the underlined word, they are given the choice to visit the article online. Emotiblips Emotiblips are the video equivalent of an emoticon. During video sessions, the user may stream a song or video to the other user in real time. One can send MP3s, WAVs, WMVs, and MPGs with this feature. QuickTime MOV files as emotiblips are not currently supported. Topic. Hidden smileys In version 2.0 to the current, the default emoticon set contains emoticons that don't appear in the menu but can be used in conversations. Some of these are animations that can only be viewed in Trillion Pro, but all of them can be used regardless. Topic. Skins and interfaces discontinued. Trillion has its own unique skinning engine known as Skin XML. Many skins have been developed for Trillion and they can be downloaded from the official skins gallery or DeviantR. Trillion also came with an easier skinning language, Styx, which is essentially a set of XML entities that simplifies repetitive codes and allows skinners to share XML and graphics in the form of emoticon packs, sound packs and interfaces. The default skins of Trillion are designed by DesignHazard. Trillion Cordillera was used in Trillion 0.7x, while Trillion Whistler has been the default skin for Trillion since Pro 1.0. Small cosmetic changes were noticeable in each major release. The Trillion Astra features a brand new design for the front-end UI, named Trillion Coordinata. Topic: <laughs> Plugins discontinued. 
Trillion is a closed source application, but the Pro version can be extended by plugins. Plugins by Cerulean Studios itself include Spell Check, Weather Monitor, a mini browser for viewing AIM profiles, Winamp Song Title Scroller, Stock Exchange Monitor, RSS FeedReader, and conversation abilities for the Logitech G15 keyboard, as well as a plugin for the XMPP and Bonjour networks. Others have developed various plugins, such as a games plugin which can be used to play chess and checkers, a protocol plugin to send NetBIOS messages through Trillion, a plugin to interact with Lotus SameTime clients, a plugin to interact with Microsoft Exchange, a POP3 and IMAP email checker, or an automatic translator for many European languages to and from English. Trillion 5.1 for Windows and later included a plugin that allows you to chat and make calls on Skype without Skype being installed. As of July 2014, Skype is no longer accessible from the Trillion client, as the Skype plugin no longer works some had been able to use older versions of the Trillion client, but now these also no longer work with Skype. Plugins are available for free and are hosted on the official web site, but most need Trillion Pro 2 Plus to run. In-game chat Starting at version 5.3, Trillion users can toggle an overlay when playing a video game on the computer that allows the user to use Trillion's chat features, in a similar vein to Steam's overlay chat. When toggled, the overlay will show the time according to the system's clock, and the chat window itself is a variation Trillion's base chat window, with tabs used for different sets of queries and channels. Also, when the overlay is not activated, users can view a toggle able sticker that tells the user how many messages are unread. Topic: History. Topic: <laughs> Early beginnings. After several internal builds, the first ever public release of Trillion, version 0.50, was available on July 1, 2000, and was designed to be an IRC client. The release was deemed too buggy and was immediately pulled off the shelf and replaced by a new version 0.51 on the same day. It featured a simple connection manager and skinned windows. A month later, two minor builds were released with additional IRC features and bug fixes. Despite these efforts, Trillion was not popular, as reflected in the number of downloads from CNET's download.com. Trillion was a donateware at that time. They used PayPal for receiving donations through their website. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Introduction of interoperability. Version 0.6, released November 29, 2000, represented a major change in the direction of development, when the client became able to connect to AOL Instant Messenger, ICQ and MSN Messenger simultaneously in one window. Although similar products, such as Odigo and Imachi, already existed, Trillion was novel in the way that it distinguished contacts from different IM services clearly on the contact list, and it did not require registration of a proprietary account. It also did not lose connection easily like the other clients. A month later, Yahoo Messenger support was introduced in Trillion 0.61, and it also featured a holiday skin for Christmas. Meanwhile, the Trillion community forums were open to the public. During this period, new versions were released frequently, attracting many enthusiasts to the community. Skinning activity boomed and fan sites were created. A skinning contest was held on DeviantArt in summer, and the winner was selected to design the default skin for the next version of Trillion. Trillion hit 100,000 downloads on August 14, 2001. Topic: <laughs> Entry into mainstream and the IM wars. Contrary to the anticipation for version. 0.64. In the community, the next version of Trillion was numbered 0.70. It was released December 5, 2001. Development took five months, considerably longer than development of prior builds. 
The new version implemented file transfer in all IM services, a feature most requested by the community at the time. It also represented a number of skin language changes. It used the contact list as the main window as opposed to a status window container in prior versions and featured a brand new default skin, Trillion Cordillera, and an emoticon set boasting over 100 emoticons, setting a record apart from other messengers available at that time. Version 0.71 was released on December 18, 2001. It supported AIM group chats and was the first major IM client which included the ability to encrypt messages with SecureIM. In the following months, the number of downloads of Trillion surged, reaching 1 million on 27 January 2002, and 5 million within six months. Trillion received coverage and favorable reviews from mainstream media worldwide, particularly by CNET, Wired and Better News. The lead developer and co-founder, Scott Werndorfer, was also interviewed on Tech TV. AOL became aware that Trillion users were able to chat with their AIM buddies without having to download the AIM client, and on January 28, 2002, AOL blocked SecureIM access from Trillion clients. Cerulean appeared to have circumvented the block with version 0.721 of its client software, released one day later. This AOL war continued for the next couple of weeks, with Cerulean releasing subsequent patches 0.722, 0.723 and 0.724. Trillion appeared in the Jupiter Media Metrics Internet Audience Ratings in February 2002 with 344,000 unique users, and grew to 610,000 by April 2002. While those numbers are very small compared to the major IM networks, Jupiter said Trillion consistently ranks highest according to the number of average minutes spent per month. Trillion also created a special version for iOmega ActiveDisk. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commercialization with Trillion Pro. On September 9, 2002 a commercial version, Trillion Pro 1.0, was released concurrently with Trillion Basic 0.74. The commercial version was sold for $25 US for a year of subscription, but all those who donated to the development of Trillion before were eligible to a year of subscription at no cost. The new version had added SMS and mobile messaging abilities, Yahoo Messenger webcam support, pop-up email alerts and new plugins to shuttle news, weather and stock quotes directly to buddy lists. It appeared Trillion Pro would be marketed to corporate clients looking to keep in touch with suppliers or customers via a secured, interoperable IM network, and a relatively stern user interface. The company had no venture capital backing, and had depended entirely on donations from users to stay alive. Trillion Pro 1.0 was nominated and picked among three other nominees as the best Internet communication shareware in its debut year of being a try before you buy shareware. On April 26, 2003, total downloads of Trillion reached 10 million. Blocking from Yahoo and cooperation with Game A few weeks after Trillion Pro 2.0 was released, Yahoo attempted to block Trillion from connecting to its service in their efforts to implement preventative measures to protect our users from potential spammers. A few patches were released by the Trillion developers, which resolved the issue. The Trillion developers assisted its open-source cross-platform rival Game in solving the Yahoo connection issues. Sean Egan, the developer of Game, posted in its site, "...our friends over at Cerulean Studios managed to break my speed record at cracking Yahoo authentication schemes with an impressive feat of hackery. They sent it over and here it is in Game 0.70." It was later revealed that the developers were friends and had helped each other on past occasions. Meanwhile, as Microsoft forced its users to upgrade to MSN Messenger 5.0 for upgrades in their servers for security issues, October 15, 2003 also would mark the deadline for Trillion support for MSN Messenger. However, it appeared that Cerulean Studios worked with Microsoft to resolve the issue on August 2, 2003, long before the deadline. 
On March 7, 2004 and June 23, 2004, Yahoo changed its instant messaging language again to prevent third-party services, such as Trillion, from accessing its service. Like prior statements, the company said the block is meant as a preemptive measure against spammers. Cerulean Studios released a few patches to fix the issues within a day or two. Topic. Trillion 3 series In August 2004, a new official blog was created in attempt to rebuild connections between the studios and its customers. Trillion 3 was announced in the blog, and a sneak preview was made available to a small group of testers. After months of beta testing, the final build of Trillion 3 was released on December 18, 2004, with features such as new video and audio chat abilities throughout AIM, MSN Messenger and Yahoo Messenger, an enhanced logging manager and integration with the Wikipedia Online Encyclopedia. It also featured a clean and reorganized user interface and a brand new official website. The release also updated the long abandoned Trillion Basic.74 to match the new user interface and functionalities as Trillion Basic 3.0. The number of accumulated downloads of Trillion Basic in Download.com hit 20 million within a matter of weeks. Trillion 3.1 was released February 23, 2005. It included new features such as Universal Plug and Play and multiple identities support. On June 10, 2011, all instances of Trillion 3 Basic got an automatic upgrade to Trillion 3 Pro, free of charge. U3 and Google Pack A version of Trillion that could run on U3 USB flash drives was released on October 21, 2005. Trillion could previously be run from generic flash drives or other storage devices with some minor unofficial modifications, known as Trillion Anywhere. A U3 version of Trillion Astra is also posted on the official Cerulean Studios forum. On January 6, 2006, Larry Page, president of products at Google, announced Google Pack, a bundle of various applications including Trillion Basic 3.0 as a free collection of safe, useful software from Google and other companies that improves the user experience online and on the desktop." The inclusion of Trillion in Google Pack was perplexing to some media analysts as Google has its own Google Talk service, which touts the benefits of an open IM system and the free Trillion Basic client cannot be used with Google Talk. Trillion Pro is also included as one of the client choices. In Google Talk's client choices list, according to the Cerulean Studios blog, Trillion was discontinued from Google Pack on 19 May 2006. <laughs> Trillion Astra Trillion 4. More than a year after the release of Trillion 3.1, the Cerulean Studios blog began spreading news again and announced the next version of Trillion, to be named Trillion Astra. The name for version 4, Astra, is the nickname used by the same fictional character that is the namesake of the software, which is a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The new release claimed to be faster and include a new login screen. A new domain, www.trillionastra.com, was disclosed to the public, with only the logo and blue background. On July 3, 2009, Cerulean Studios reopened the premium web version of Astra to public testing. On August 14, 2009, Cerulean Studios released the final gold build. Trillion has its own social network named Astra Network, in which users who have Astra ID can communicate with each other on the network regardless of platform. Cerulean Studios later registered a new domain, www.trillion.im, to provide a more user-friendly experience. Trillion Astra is available on Microsoft Windows, Web, Android, BlackBerry OS, and iOS. As of August 2010, the Mac OS X version was in beta testing. Topic Trillion 5 On August 2, 2010, Trillion 5.0 was released as a public beta. 
Newer features included a resize ABLE interface, history synchronization, a new ribbon-inspired interface with Windows theme integration, new marble-like icons for service providers, the option to revert to the Trillion 3 and 4 interfaces, and a new social network interface window were introduced. Along with Trillion 5.0 for Windows and the aforementioned Mac Beta. As of 2010, the Android and BlackBerry OS final builds were available on their respective markets for free. Topic. Open Candy Included with the installation of Trillion 5.0 was a program called Open Candy, which some security programs, including Microsoft Security Essentials, classed as adware. Open Candy was removed shortly after on May 5, 2011. Topic. See also List of XMPP clients Comparison of instant messaging clients Comparison of IRC clients Comparison of instant messaging protocols <laughs>